I'm out of shit. Hey besties, it is day, is it technically day three? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yes, it's technically day three. Um, and I had a really good turnout yesterday. It was actually really pretty good. I know that I have for fact covered what it costs to be here. And I think probably most of the gas it'll take, I'm trying to think, cause I'll probably end up using like two tanks. And in my truck, that's $300. So I think, I think I have covered that or I'm close, which is great. I have a feeling that it might be a little bit slower Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, just because I don't know how many people are gonna be perusing during the day, but I've been getting here at 11. Also, life hack here. Um, I was nervous about like having online sales while also having my store set up, but then I was like, dude, what if I just shop my store and take stuff home? That way I know I have the inventory for it. So that's literally what I've been doing, is when online orders come through, I've just been shoving everything delicately into this bag so that I can take it home and put orders together still, but then also have it here, because that was my one concern, was like, I don't want to oversell or undersell. So, um, didn't do anything crazy different. I did put up signs because I think a lot of people don't know that I can take card and everything, and I also have a little popple, so they can do Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to hang out again. Like I said, I'm not sure the vibe of non-weekend dates, excuse me. Um, it does definitely look a lot more dead today, but that's okay. It's also only like noon or a little after. So I'm hopeful. I, like I said, I made the same money that I put into it back, which is better than I did at the last one. So I'm already happy because we're already on the upswing now of, you know, making money. Uh, I'm also not aggressively advertising my online shop just because I don't want to sell out of something. And then, you know, have that debacle. But yeah, we are, we're here, we're thriving. Um, it's pretty decently cool right now. Hopefully it stays that way, but I'll check in with you guys later. Right. What's up hookers? I need to do a day Wednesday update. It's day like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever. day five update. Um, so far pretty good. I'm going to try to stay later tonight because I think that that'll help. So I got here a little bit later. I was set up by about noon. So I think I'm going to stay till eight, see what happens. And then maybe stay till nine because I know there is a rodeo tonight. So I feel like there might be the midway might be popping a little bit more. So I might stay closer to nine tonight, but I'll let you know. But we definitely have made enough to cover the um, initial, like how much it costs to set up here. And then I think I've covered my gas, which is great. So now we're making a profit. Yesterday was the slowest day. And I kind of assumed that it would be because there was not a lot going on at the fair. Um, but I still made $200 for a slow day. So that's pretty, I'm okay with that because um, you kind of have to think of it as like, okay, if you had a regular people job, you know, you would probably make 200 like a little less than 200 dollars a day probably so i'm not offended by that i'm happy so we're just gonna keep trucking along i got criminal minds i got funyuns it's a good damn day did i did i forget to vlog for two days yeah yeah i did um mainly because i had friends helping me with my trailer like not a, like i shouldn't say not helping but also like thursday was a little chaotic because um my dad was also pulling that day and then Friday yesterday my friend Gretchen hung out for a while and then my friend Bustin and Kaylee were there so like it was just not really a time to vlog but the end of the week has been very successful I've been very happy I literally have four Oswalds that I'm taking to fair and then that is it which is insane because last year when I got you know the thousand plushies in my brain I was just like how in the hell am I gonna sell all these <laughs> And so now like realizing that they're sold out is like fucking insane. Um, it's also exciting because I do have more coming already. Um, and then I also have blue plushie. I know Patreon has heard and some uh, TikTok lives have gotten to see, but I do have a blue plushie coming. And then also when, cause they just fucking expensive. Like I tell people when I order plushies, it's five figures. Like it's not just, you know, I don't know how cheap people think you can make plushies, but like I'm not selling them for $30 and getting them for 50 cents. Like they're not cheap. And um, so then when I get my, uh, so I'm, like I said, Oswald and Blues are coming next. And then I have a Jolene cause I wanted a short horn pattern. I thought that would be really sharp. So there's a short horn pattern coming and those I'll reorder with the snows as well. Um, those will probably be a few weeks to a couple months, maybe behind the Oswald and Blues. Just because like I said, financially, it ain't cheap to have that much inventory of a person, but 
I am very excited. It'll be super awesome to have all those in because I think the more things I do in person, the more plushies sold, sell just because they're a ticket item. People see them and they're like, that's a cute fluffy cow. I would like to have it. And I'm just like, you don't even know the story behind it. <laughs> but yes, it has been very good. I'm very happy with how much we have sold. And so this is definitely a fair that I will be coming back to next year as long as they'll have me because it's been very fun. Um, but today is the last day. I am exhausted um because of the whole week uh just a little bit of lack of sleep and then I may or may not have day drank yesterday I had to people for so much okay my time clock was out and so what kept me going yesterday was Michelob Ultra right on <laughs> but um I think that I might try to pack up some of the trailer tonight and then I'll come get it tomorrow on Sunday because I think that'll be easiest because I really do think that the lady beside me will have to be gone before I can get my truck in there successfully, which is no big deal. I'm sure that she'll probably, I'll just ask her when she's leaving and then I'll come around that time that she's not there because not that I don't like her. She's been great, but I just think that my trailer, it's, it's, it's going to be a weird, weird squeeze if, uh, she is there. So I'm going to head to fair now. I'm hoping that this coffee kicks in. If not, I did find out there's a nice little coffee place on the fairgrounds and I might have to run over there and get a second coffee because your girl is dragging ass today. So hopefully I can wake the hell up, but I can try to give you another update at least when I'm like leaving or just kind of show you what the trailer looks like packed back up or something, you know, just whatever seems fitting for a vlog. I don't know. Peace out. You know, the lighting is trash, but I just should, just, I can't even make words anymore. I have people so much, I cannot even make words. <sighs> I am done. Okay, into my truck. You can see me in all my glory. Good God. I'm so happy with this week. It went really well, and I do love that this is my full-time, oh my God, that's not a dangerous. I do love, sounds dangerous, continues to yeet and book back into truck. But I'm glad that this is what I do for a living. But I'm fucking exhausted. Oh my god. I have been so feral that I forgot what it's like to social, like, interact with people that much. My social meter is gone. I am so tired, but we did it! Crank the AC down for just a moment because that's what I do for y'all. Um, but yeah, the fair was a success. I didn't stay as late as I was going to originally on this Saturday because I'm just exhausted and I have a shit ton of stuff to do tomorrow because one of my friends slash other fellow TikTok creator person, I don't know the best way to put it. I also just can't make fucking words right now. Um, her name is Maureen. She is the owner of Foxtrot Equine Photography and she is phenomenal. She came out last year and took photos for me and they were just spectacular. So I wanted her to come out again when she was in Ohio and what do you know, her and her friend Tisha are in uh, are going to be coming through Ohio. So I was like, Beach, I want to book you. So they're coming. I'm super excited. And obviously it had to make it work with their schedule. And I think they already did kind of make it work for me because of the fact that I had fair. So it's just kind of like, I just, I have to get ready for that. I have to go get my trailer. I need to spray my cows for fly spray. And I just, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. We're going to get it all done. I, I know we are. I'm confident. I think that I've got this. Um, I'm just gonna sleep in and then I'm gonna fucking conquer. It is Sunday, the day after fair, and this is how I travel with my trailer. Like I said, everything is in the bins in the open floor space. And then sometimes I'll like pin it to where some stuff won't move because there's other stuff holding it in place. But yes, that is it. Also for future reference, I need to start utilizing these bad boys because it's kind of hard for them to move. So I think that <clears throat> they would stay just fine. Sorry, I made a couple trips up and down the stairs with some of my stuff. So like, I'm a little winded because, you know, that's the worst part. There's flipping stairs. They can get that shit. That was, I just fake tan because I have a photo shoot today, but that was kind of the week vlog of a vendor event. The Clinton County Fair for me was a success. Very happy with the turnout. Very happy with the amount of stuff I moved. It was a positive, um, made up for the last one that wasn't that great. So I can continue vlogging the events like that. If you guys enjoy this, just let me know. But I have to put my office back in order, get to my online orders, and get ready for the next thing. So <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe. You can check out some other videos and all that jazz. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real sweaty probably. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.